Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. So this is going to be a uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and uh, Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading for June 17 to uh, June 23rd, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the cards. And we can jump straight away into the spread. Okay, so the first card which represents the topic for a Gemini's week, that is going to be the uh, Eight of uh, Pentacles, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Gemini needs to overcome for throughout the week, that is going to be the uh, Hangman. Afterwards, we do have the Eight of Wands, which is the uh, positive aspect of the week. And finally, the last card stands for the Guidance, and this is going to be the uh, Ace of Swords. So once again, uh, Eight of Pentacles, that is to be the general topic, followed by the uh, Hangman, which is the challenge. Afterwards, that is to be the Eight of Wands, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last one, we do have the Ace of Swords, which is uh, the Guidance that Taro is offering to you. All right, so um, the way I see this reading uh, is gonna have the most influence upon those which are dealing with private business, private affairs, you know, that are in regards to career. It's more career reading than a uh, relationship kind of a reading, but as it is a general reading, you know, I will try to do my best here to cover as relationship, as career, such a, a relationship as well. So what the reading is all about? Well, it seems, Gemini's, that this week you are going to have the, um, or you will finally going to have the circumstances in such an order that will allow you to start working on a thing that took long time to be planned, you know, long time to be, um, how, how do you, how, how do you say it? A, uh, a long time to be negotiated, a long time to be prepared, right? And uh, that is well described here with uh, the uh, Eight of Pentacles and as well with the Eight of Wands that we have. Uh, furthermore, we do have double weights. So it's a very good week for you to start building up a lucrivity, building up a fortune, building up a money as well. Because eight is one of is the number that it is most favorable for one making money. But anyway, uh, so eight of, eight of Pentacles here points that this week you will start having that key nine, a keen eye for the subtleties and for the minor details of your situation, you know, either career or either relationship one, meaning that you will finally, you know, realize what is missing, what needs to be attended to in order this situation itself to become much more beneficial, much more lucrative, and in general to allow you to continue on developing your um, 
your progress. But also, as you do have that keen eye for the subtleties and for the minor details, well, you will scope out what is missing here to start initiating, like I said at the start, something which took a, a long time to be uh to be planned, you know, to be negotiated or to be prepared as well. So take it like this, for example, you know, you want to marry someone, but um, until this very moment, even though you both want to marry each other, something always stood in between you two. There was that crack in between you two and for one or another reason, you could not initiate the process. So throughout this week, it seems that you are going to realize you know what was missing or what was left unattended here through the keen eye for the subtleties that you are to have you know in this um, attitude to scope the minor details and finally you know you can start making arrangements and finally you can start doing actually something for initiating this thing that it is long time desired from your behalf same thing goes in regards to a, a career as well but like i said at the start this uh, reading has most influence on those who are dealing with private business and what the eight of pentacles here points is that these who are dealing with private business are likely to uh, expand on their services you know and uh, additionally to that it speaks that the week is going to be quite a dappled with a lot of orders so you are to increase your clientele the accompanied card here we do have the queen of swords the formation for you gemini's it is uh, the uh, it is pa passive uh, enemies that we have so um the whole thing with the queen of swords here the whole thing it is uh, very well structured as an enemy uh, we speak it's a uh, very well structured all right the plan that you have created for being with a certain person you know or for involving yourself into a certain career for finding a job and etc etc it is well established you don't have to change that plan in any way you don't have to you know uh, try to restructure that plan it is just maybe that minor thing in there that uh, you are missing until this very moment that the last piece of the puzzle which is going to be found um, throughout this week june 17th to um June 23rd, 2019. And as I said that um, I will try to cover as best as I can uh, as well relationship kind of life. The Eight of Pentacles for those who are single especially, it does speak that it is, it is time to stop, to, to, uh, to step under the spotlight meaning that you have to stop being a hermit, meaning that you need to start empathizing with new people to uh, communicate, you know, with new people. Uh, you may be um, very devoured by your career, for example, well, and you may not have time, you know, to go out and to um, socialize with new social circles, um, et cetera, et cetera. But that doesn't stop you to take a participation, for example, into dating apps, uh, into, um, uh, into as well dating websites, Facebook, and et cetera, uh, et cetera as well. So uh, the next card that we, that we have, it's going to be the uh, challenges and we have the hangman. So uh, challenges are the initiation itself here. The hangman, it is like the test that everybody stands against. Uh, do you know uh, this thing, uh, and it's something that happens with me every time that I have to stand in front of the camera and to um, start recording the videos. It's very difficult for me to start recording those videos. But once I start, you know, everything goes fluent. So that is the challenge itself, to start the thing. Uh, you may feel, for example, exhausted. You may feel like you don't have the mood to do it. You may feel like it is way too much of a hassle for you to do it as well, and etc., etc. Or, as with my case, you may have, you may think that you do have better things to do. All right, more entertaining things uh, to do. So that is the challenge itself, guys. The hangman here stands, Gemini's, to test you how bad you want your progress, how bad you want your success. And uh, the only the first step, that, that transition that you are going to make here, or you are about to make, the very first step is going to be the difficult one. After that, it seems that the things are going to snowball and uh, you are to um, fill up or fulfill your responsibilities, your duties, or uh, the um, 
accomplishment of the plan and the structure with uh, relative ease. The accompanied card of the hangman, uh, it is the six of wands. And now before I go with this one, something else pops up in my mind. So let's say that thing you really like a certain person, all right? And you are planning how you're going to tell them uh, or you, you're you going to expose your feelings to them. You are planning how you both are going to be happy afterwards and so on and so forth. And everything in your mind, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of like looks beautiful. It, it looks almost perfect. But this opening, it's um, you open yourself in front of that person. Now, that is the scary part, isn't it? And uh, you kind of like you, you never said what you feel for them. OK, probably you're hoping that they're going to approach you and is going to tell and they're going to tell you what they feel for you. But that may never happen. So this is how the hangman stands here to traverse this uh, this threshold to overcome uh, the passiveness that you are um, attaining towards um, or in regards to this uh, thing that you are planning for a, a long, long time. So the, um, the accompanied card here that is to be the Six of Wands formation, it is a, a passive enemies that we have. So uh, additionally, as a challenge here with the Six of Wands to the, uh, to the hangman card it is what i said beforehand that you may think that you do have better things to do or you may think that actually you know the entertainment is going to be a, a better way to spend a week or maybe you think that uh, you maybe you may think you know that you're going to have a better chance for example to um to approach this uh this thing which took a long time to prepare and to uh and to plan as well and completely to neglect uh, those minor details which are actually um, how do you say it in English uh, are become pretty obvious to you that needs to be attended so uh, that being said do not overlook well, what I want to try to say here it is that you you should not overlook you know what is obvious uh, that you have to do or for what you have to do in case you want uh, your progress in a, a specific direction like I said a particular person you want to be with uh, establishing a certain project of yours and so on and uh, so forth so uh, then we go to the next card which stands for the positive aspect of the week for you Gemini's and that is to be the um, eight of uh, wands oh another thing uh, it could be that you are making excuses not to do anything about the, your plans. Okay, so you have to stop making excuses and do something to uh, unfold those plans. <clears throat> so, if for example you love someone, all right, and you're constantly telling them that you love them but you don't do anything about it, that attitude should stop and you actually stop telling, you should stop telling them that you love them, but instead show them with your actions. That is just for an example. Okay, so uh, the next card, like I said, Eight of Wands, this is the positive aspect and the Eight of Wands here tells us only one thing and has the most influence upon one into career and it says that you are gonna be extremely creative, okay? Very, very, agile in regards to your mental capacity so uh it is more like these um inventors okay uh which can do amazing stuff with uh just handful of materials so you will be able to fit any kind of uh, how do you how do you say it well any kind of um well, it's very difficult to describe it, guys. I do apologize for that. Um, so any kind of situation, you are going to be able to fit it in uh, and traverse it into your benefit. Uh, you are going to be very uh, clever 
it seems and as well I are very aware of what capacity you have and what you can work with as well giving you the advantage over the situation giving you to not just only one step ahead but being two step ahead of, uh, in front of the situation being able to dictate the rules now a very important thing with the eight of wands as well is that you need to have that readiness for action because the eight of wands is a very swift and fast card yeah it's going to give you a lot of uh, varieties and a lot of opportunities but they could be for example for a handful of hours or maybe for a day if we are following the example with the suitor so you expose your emotions right you tell them what you feel they are telling you that they're going to think about it next day they call you asking you for a date that should take place let's say in a 5 p.m you say i'm going to think about it two hours afterwards you call them they tell you that they, they already scheduled something else for the 5 p.m so it's something that you need to decide straight away you know these opportunities need to be taken straight away you cannot afford to think about it pretty much means that you at the start of the week you need to be aware of what you want and how you want it uh, the next card it is or the accompanied card here is going to be the Knight of Wands. So uh, the combination it is a active supporters, a, a, a extremely burning out kind of an energy. It is what we have here the um, the Knight of Wands to the Eight of Wands points that uh, as well you will have the luxury to experiment with those uh, options available you know with those opportunities so what i can uh, what i can summarize from those cards gemini's is that you do have the luxury to make mistakes <clears throat> and afterwards to get back to a certain che checkpoint uh, from which you can try a, a new now you need to know that these energies are only for this um, specific week so if you are, for example, into the field of private business, you know, and you're trying to uh, set up a, a, new, um, a new service, let's say that you are a tarot reader or maybe you are an astrologer, okay? You have your own channel, you have your own uh, website, you do have services that you are providing and you figure out that you want a new service, let's say selling certain videos or um, <clears throat> making a new charts and so on and so forth. So um, what these cards means is that throughout this week, you can experiment with that service, see which how it works best for you, you know, see how, it, uh, see how it's going to work as well best for your clientele ask for feedbacks uh maybe do some um some free readings just to see what the feedback is going to be you know so you can align it for um your preferences or to align it in regards to your clients your preferences same thing goes uh, in regards to um, <clears throat> making in a relationship here or establishing or consolidating a certain relationship experiment try to see what mutual experience is going to work for both of you it's not too late to back off you know and try a new something different so be open-minded as well and the last card here it is the guidance the tower is offering to you and that is going to be the ace of swords the truth so pretty much this week the truth is going to be revealed to you what i mean is that if we're following the example with the new services by the end of the week you are gonna know is this service are gonna work is gonna work out long run or is not gonna work out and you will have to completely restructure your plan same thing goes in regards to relationship you will pretty much know by the end of the week is this uh, relationship gonna work out or are is your um, attempts to associate yourself with someone is gonna work out and etc etc it's basically all is going to be revealed by the end of the week based on your uh, on your performance here it is very important to be said that your performance is going to be a, a key factor you do nothing about it nothing is going to happen you do a lot about it well a lot is going to happen uh, the accompanied card here that is to be the uh, two of wands so uh, formation it is a active uh, friends and uh, <clears throat> this thing gets even better because either happening or not you pretty much are going to obtain the idea of uh, what you should do next okay which uh which field you should incorporate yourself next either career or relationship for example if uh, the thing with your suitor doesn't work out then you will pretty much know what kind of a suitor afterwards you need to chase or you should involve yourself with 
or if this uh, new service of yours doesn't work out, you pretty much will know what kind of a service you need to develop after. Okay, so even if this thing that it is marked by the Eight of Pentacles doesn't work out quite as you have expected, guys, it, it, it is still a, a very productive thing that happening because it's gonna allow you to develop something even better afterwards. It's gonna be like a lesson that you will need to learn <clears throat> and to experiment with so you know what is the best possible course of action proceeding forward either with your career or either with your a, a relationship but again the week is it's very important throughout the week that you experiment and that you attend to those minor details you need to clarify for yourself for your customers for your suitors you know for your wife or her husband and so on and so forth all right so uh, that being said this was your weekly tarot reading for june 17 to june 23rd 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we are going to uh, see each other around. Until then, bye.